What is up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more diecast and today we have probably one of the best looking car culture sets ever. The 2021 slash 2022 modern classic set. So this is obviously a five car set. Premiums, the premium prices have gone up for 2022. Um, these are now $5.99 where they were like $5.49 or $5.69. Um, so they're going up because everything is going up, but these are absolute stunners. Every car in this pack, like this set, is it looks so good. There's two new castings, um, three older castings, but they all look amazing. So we're going to go over these one by one, take a closer look, and then at the end, of course, tell me which one is your favorite, which one is your least favorite, and if you've been able to find these in stores or not. So let's go ahead and dig into it again. So like I said, this is a five car set. Uh, the very first one here, the one of five, is the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. All the card order on these, excellent, very clean. Um, this looks like it could be a real picture, at least like a picture from Forza or Gran Turismo or something, but man, this is a good looking casting. So let's go ahead and bust it open. Whoop. Oh man, this is such a nice car. Okay, I'm gonna blow some of the Man, look at that. This car looks really nice and yellow. Um, this is the first time we've actually gotten this car in premium. So that means metal body, metal chassis, uh, real rider rubber tires, the work. So this car looks really good for its first time in the premium. I love that it's just stock, it's yellow. Um, again, no weird goofy tampos on it, no liveries. It's just a clean, clean car. So a couple firsts for this. Besides the first time for it being a metal chassis, you'll actually notice that this car has headlights or simulated headlights at least. All the other releases of this car previously, even the Super Treasure Hunt um, version, had plastic headlights. So this car still has plastic headlights, but it has um, tampos on it. So it has headlight embezzlement, embezz embezzlements, embellishments on it to make it look realistic, and it does. The tampos look great on it. They look like real headlights, even though they are just the same headlights as the basic, uh, you know, just the plastic, just painted on basically so this car looks really good with those I think going forward if it doesn't have those headlights that it, you'll definitely be able to tell it's more of a toy but this looks like a collector's model because of that so they nailed the headlights on it um the out back it has the Nissan twin turbo 300ZX the taillights look pretty good and all of these cars have California license plates. This one says ZX Turbo. Again, really nice looking casting. The one thing I don't like about this casting, and I've said it in videos before, is I hate these vintage racing wheels on anything other than Ford products. So I'm, I, I'm not a fan of them. I don't really like them on this car, but I will say from here, the colors of them, the dark like bronze interior, or inside and then the chrome lip, they look nice. They do look good on it, but I just am not a fan of them, especially up close you can tell they're like the Shelby wheels. So other than that, I think this car is an excellent, excellent version of it. Um, so if you're a Nissan collector or Datsun or whatever, be on the lookout for this one. So next up, we have the 92 BMW M3. There's the card art, excellent, looks good. This, I, I mean, I cannot say enough good things about this set because it's perfectly executed. This reminds me uh, of the Japan Historics that have really good liveries or especially Japan Historics 2 that were all just plain color cars and no racing or goofy tampos or police cars or anything like that. Just really good looking cars. So this casting came out I believe in like, I mean like 2012-13. Um, it's held up pretty well. It still looks good. It looks like a premium casting. So metal body, metal chassis again. Um, headlights, grill. It's got those nice kidney beans painted. It's got the M on the grill. Um, turn signal. It's got the BMW logo on the hood. The chrome lace wheels. The newer ones that are really big. They look um, fairly large on this car, but I like them. I think they look good. Um, out back, we have taillights, the M3 logo, and then this one. The license plate says 92 Beamer, so B-E-A-M-R. I like that. Um, I also like the taillights. I think these are a little bit different than the taillights we've seen on this car before um, because they have, like, I don't know how to explain it, some, like, black, uh, almost like ink blots in them, which make them look 
like right there, like light is reflecting them. So they did a really good job. All the tampos on these, I think Hot Wheels is getting better with their tampos, making stuff look more realistic. Um, and I'm for it. So this is an excellent version of this car. If you're a BMW collector, definitely have to have that one. So the next one is the third newest casting, I believe. Um, it was It's probably tied with the 300ZX. I can't remember what year the 300ZX came out. If it was last year, the year before. Uh, but this came out also in 2018 or 19. Maybe even 20. I can't even remember when it came out. Uh, but this is the, what year is this? Let's see, I can't remember. 98 Prelude, that's right. Um, and what's surprising about this one is this is almost the exact color we got the first release of this car in. But this is the first time we've seen it as premium metal body, metal chassis, rubber tires. Um, really good tampos. And this is another one just like the 300ZX. We have not seen this car with headlight embellishments yet. So it's nice even though that is a plastic, like basically part of the plastic windshield, painted, they look excellent. They did a really good job on them. Again, Hot Wheels has really stepped up their tampo game, I feel like, making them look more realistic. The taillights look great. Um, the license plate says Quick Lude, which I think is cool. Um, it's got the Honda logo on the trunk. It's a really nice car. Like, what are those? The TE wheels. Love these wheels. They look good on this car. Again, this is like what a premium should be. If you put this next to the main line and then you see what this one looks like, you're like, man, that premium is stunning. And this is a great looking car. So, again, if you collect Hondas or, I mean, just even if you don't, this is a nice car to add to your collection just because it's done so well. So, the next two are absolutely just, I mean, Gran Turismo gold, mm, chef's kiss, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6. I think this is, has this has been on people's, like, you know, automotive Hot Wheels bucket list for since Gran Turismo came out, basically. And they have killed it with this casting. It looks so, so good. Like, look at the headlights. It straight up, it does. It looks Gran Turismo. Oh, man, I love this casting. So this is the first time this casting has been released. It is a premium metal body metal chassis. And then the license plate is Evolution R or Evol, 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 oh, Evo Lancer. I was like, I can't see it because of the glare. E-V-O-L-N-C-R, Evo Lancer, which I think is cool. Uh, they're the, the accurate, like, Evo 6 uh, logo. Uh, I don't know what that, I can't read what that one says exactly. I think it says Lancer. Um, but, oh, there it goes. Um, taillights look great. Again, straight out of Gran Turismo. Um, it has a third brake light painted on these on this plastic wing, which is a separate part of the body. Um, kind of like the very first or the throwback, like 2013 R34, where the, the, like the wing was a separate piece. So that's cool to see that it's a separate piece because I think it allows for more detail. Um, and it looks good. It's a little bit different color from the body, but overall, I mean, look at the white wheels on this. I mean, this thing is just so, so killer. Did a really good job on the hood. It's got black vents on it. Um, I think the front of this car is where it really shines for Hot Wheels. They did an excellent job on the headlight tampos, um, the fog light tampos, like this whole thing. Look how good that looks. That little Mitsubishi logo right in the center. And it's not like, I mean, it's not fuzzy. It's uh, They did a killer job on these tampos. So overall, I mean, this car, there's a bottom of it if you want to see it. Just a fantastic, I mean, this car will probably be hoarded for years to come. And I really hope we get the um like the the rally version of it and actually now that i put the i just saw the light like it's almost like a translucent purple bluish color i don't know if you can see it there but it almost changes colors i just noticed that which is another cool thing about this car but man look at that this is gonna i mean people are gonna customize this this is oh such a good casting love it so lastly we have the mishibishi 3000 gt vr4 so this is another one all like the the 90s kids um has have really been asking for and it's cool because it's one of the it's like the older version it's not the newer one with the raised wing um uh, this is a new casting first time we've seen it and it's cool because we've gotten this 3000 gt and then we got the dodge stealth from auto world so it's cool to have both of these out in one year so um this casting very well done 
Uh, you can see the taillights, uh, the license plate on this one, best of the series, Spicy GT, which is hilarious. Like, I love that. So, um, it's got, this. each car probably has three or four at least different colored tampos on it. Um, Mitsubishi logo. It's got the nice fog light. Oh, there it goes. Um, come on, come on, come on there. Zip, zip, there it is. It's trying um, the nice fog lights on it. It's got the old school looking five spoke wheels and I can't remember what Hot Wheels calls those. Um, but this overall, this casting is very nicely done. I love like the, I mean the back of this car is stunning. The spicy GT license plate is rad. Um, and I think they picked a good color. Red doesn't look good on everything, but I think this, this casting pulls it off really well. Even though the Mitsubishi logo is red and sometimes I feel like red gets lost on red, um, you can still see it there that it is a different color. Um, but overall, I mean, this casting is killer. This should be a fun one to see what people customize with and then what we can get um, Hot Wheels to do with it too. I don't know what the next version of this car coming out will um, will look like, but I'm excited for it because I think this one is another stellar casting. So how rad would it be to get both of these in a team transport box um, with an, you know, like some other Mitsubishi, whatever, uh, I don't even, I can't even think of another one Hot Wheels has like in a, I don't want to say an eclipse, but I don't know what, um, remind me in the comments, what other casting you would like to see with this, um, that Hot Wheels has or doesn't have that would be, that would go in a team transport. Cause I, off the top of my head, I can't think of it. Cause I'm so hyped on these two. Um, especially this Evo, this Evo is so, so rad. Uh, but let me know in the comments which third car you would like if they did a Mitsubishi Team Transport series. So, boom. Well, that was the Car Culture series with the 300ZX, the 98 Prelude, the 92 M3, the, what is this? The Mitsubishi 3000 GT, BR4, and the Evo 6. So, oh, so good. All of these are amazing. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Um, if you've been able to find these and then these, like for sure I'll have to take some pictures of these and post them somewhere because they're just too good not to post. So um, again, this is Sam, 64 Wheels. Thanks for watching. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Lamely Group, Drive Tribe, all the good stuff, um, all the socials, you know how it is. Um, and uh, keep watching for more diecast. So thanks guys.